I've got four FJ400 lights. Got one with a beauty dish here. I've got one with the strip box that's gonna be providing fill light on Diana's Egyptian face. And here we got another FJ400 with the grid and that's gonna just provide a little bit of a, another kicker light. It's gonna aim, aim at the, the back of the shoulder and it's gonna just separate her a little bit here because that's all black. You don't want it to blend in with the background. Uh, all right, when using multiple lights, the first thing you wanna do is put all of them to sleep. Put them to sleep, put them to sleep. I assign them based on their proximity to the camera. So I'll normally assign the, the closest light A and then that's B, C, and D. That's how I remember which group is which. And I'm gonna turn them on one by one and dial in the power for each one. So for D is my kicker light up top. I'm gonna turn that on and okay, here's the backlight. All right, very subtle light, just a slight kick to the shoulder. Now I'm gonna turn on C, which is gonna be the light in the back that's creating that halo effect. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, I may wanna turn that down just a tad. Bit one, two, three. All right, now we got that glow. All right, now I'm gonna turn on B, which is gonna be the fill light on the bottom. I have it at minimum power, one, two, three. And it's not supposed to look great, but you see there is light and I don't want that light to be too powerful. Now I'm gonna turn on A, which is my main light. Turn that on, here we go. Now these are all the lights combined. One, two, three. And we are looking, whew, we are looking solid. That is the four light setup. Now it's, it's about that time to get some Egyptian inspired portraits using the Sony A1 and the 85 1.4 Sigma. One of the most important things when you're taking photos, you wanna make sure you see the reflections of the light in the eye. Chin down, eyes up. There you go, ooh, there you go. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. Keep it, keep it. 